As an e-com brand owner, you know that you can lose the first nine months of the year, but if you have a great Q4, you're gonna make up for all the losses. Today, I'm gonna be peeling back the curtain on our entire internal Black Friday, Cyber Monday planning and share it with you to make sure that you get the most out of the last quarter uh, when it comes to Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So with that being said, I'm Nikita from aspectagency.com and let's get into the video. So here we are in my computer and I'll be showing you our exact calendar on what we're using. And feel free to take a screenshot of this if you want to, but this is basically the calendar. And there's a legend up here that helps break down everything that we need to do and plan out the calendar. So first things first, you wanna make sure that you plan out your calendar. If you fail to plan, plan on failing. So if you're unsure of what your Black Friday, Cyber Monday marketing strategy should be, put it in writing and plan everything out or use this calendar. Make sure to set up a weekly or daily cadence on setup and sending. First off, have a holiday themed setup. What do I mean by this? So at, at the top here, you have setup or design as a light red color. Make sure that you have holiday based email campaigns and flows temporarily set up. Also in the beginning of the month, this is the month of November, Beginning of the month, make sure to create your VIP list if you have not done so already. Uh, this list is crucial for the start of your Black Friday, Cyber Monday promotions because if you don't have it already set up, this is where you have the highest lifetime value customers and they're gonna keep buying from you. So you wanna make sure you treat them like royalty throughout this sale. You then wanna design your holiday-based email and SMS pop-ups. And this is when you launch your holiday-based email templates. So from here on out, you'll be sending out email templates that are more holiday-based, fall theme, Thanksgiving, maybe even Christmassy. I wouldn't lean too much into Christmas until after Thanksgiving, but this is a good time to start. On the purple here is send email and SMS campaign. So here we will just send a e monthly email campaign for our client, maybe prepping them for the upcoming sales, You know, giving them a sort of warning. Uh, next week is where we launch our holiday-based flows. So this is where the theme comes in for the flows. You know, And a simple redesign. Uh, maybe a bit more Thanksgiving colors here and there. And then we can send out a monthly email campaign number two, another, you know, maybe happy Veterans Day and telling them, you know, doing another warning of like, hey, we have the sale coming up. If you want to get on the list, click this link below and we'll add you to the list for our pre-launch, things like that. And then week number three is another email campaign, another sort of hype up email. And, you know, it's important to hype up your email list because here you want to show what what people have in store for them if they keep opening up their email. You know, it doesn't have to be exact details, but a hype up email or like a sneak peek of what's going on will warm up your audiences on what they should be expecting. Next up, another hype up email on the 18th, which is a Friday saying like, look, you're we're one week away from this. Make sure that you're on the list to get this. And this will also increase engagement within your email and ensures that people get the most out of your sale when it does come up. Then on Sunday, we're gonna go ahead and send a VIP Black Friday, Cyber Monday early access email and SMS to that VIP list that I mentioned here. And like I mentioned, you gotta treat your VIPs like royalty and give them early access to discounts a week or a few days ahead of Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And this could go for other holidays, like if you have a 4th of July sale, a Christmas sale, uh, Valentine's Day sale, depending on your niche, whatever it is, the VIP list is and should get early access to those kinds of sales. This will also lead to a nice boost of revenue before the big sales day and serves as a nice dry run for all your fulfillment infrastructure and sending and making sure that everything is, is going well. And if it doesn't go well, you have about three days or four days of buffer room to make sure that everything is fixed within that time period. Next up, we're moving on to Thanksgiving and red is marked as an important day because it is Thanksgiving and then red is Black Friday here. But then you wanna go ahead and send a early access to past purchasers. So past purchasers and VIP is different because maybe past purchasers have only purchased once from your brand, but VIP is someone that consistently buys. They bought like five, 10, 15 units of your product or are good referral partners. But you wanna send an early access to the past purchasers because here, again, it shows appreciation towards the people that have already bought. And uh, we usually send this out the day before or two days before a specific sale. So we'd send it out like two days before our Christmas sale or a day before our Christmas sale, et cetera. And then when it comes down to Black Friday, we wanna specialize in staggered sending. So we stagger our email and SMS sending on Black Friday because it will hit 
different pockets of people throughout the day. You know, some people may be getting up at, you know, 11, p 11 a.m. and they had a pretty wild Thanksgiving, so they wouldn't necessarily open that early morning Black Friday email, but they'll get that mid-noon Black Friday SMS campaign. So we stagger sending for morning, noon, and nighttime to make sure that we're hitting all the different people and letting them know about the sale. And this will capture the most people throughout the day. And then we wanna go ahead and send a Black Friday extension email campaign in early morning or noon on Saturday and make sure that people still know that it's still going on for another few hours before you do your Cyber Monday promotions. Speaking of Cyber Monday, on the Sunday before Cyber Monday, you can do another VIP or past purchasers early access email to your Cyber Monday sales. So again, hitting them again with a promotion and they already know that it's a promotion because a lot of people do their holiday shopping during Black Friday, so it's okay to keep sending them promotions. I know I preach content a lot, but this is also important. So you wanna send them that warning or that early access email for them to go ahead and access it. And on Cyber Monday, you wanna do the same exact thing of staggered sending of like one in the early morning, one in noon, and then one at evening to make sure that most people get it. And then lastly, on Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever you end your Cyber Monday deals, you wanna have that like last chance extension, like, hey, we only have X amount of hours left in the sale before we end the sale. When you do send out that like last chance email of like last chance to get this, make sure that you actually mean it because so many people at this point, you know, they're smart consumers. So when they hear a last chance email, they're like, oh yeah, here we go again, another last chance email for them to, for me to buy and I know they're gonna extend it for a few more days. No, you can do it once. You know, you can do it once during this, this campaign, but don't overdo it because people will see the pattern and they won't trust you anymore. It's like the boy who cried wolf. A lot of people say they mean it for X days, but do it once. Otherwise you will fatigue your subscribers. So when you say last chance, actually stick to it and stick to the deadline. Now, this is pretty much our plan for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I'm gonna release another video on the Christmas sale coming up so that way you kill it and crush it during Christmas and New Year's. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's pretty much it for the Black Friday Cyber Monday calendar. Thanks again for watching. And if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that you're caught up on all, all the latest email and marketing training. If you liked the video, hit the like button and drop a comment on what your favorite part of the video was. And if you're a D2C or an e-commerce brand with an email list of at least 10,000 subscribers, make sure to click the link below the video and book a call with me and my team. We work with all kinds of e-com and D2C brands and help them scale their email revenue by at least 30% month over month. So click the link below, we'll hop on a call, look over your account, compile a strategy, and create a plan of action on how to raise your email revenue. After the call, you'll have the option to use the strategy yourself with your own team, or you can choose to work with us. All up to you. It's completely free, no obligation, so click the link below, book in the call, and if you have a list size smaller than 10,000, keep watching the videos and you'll get a lot of value and learn how to increase your list size as well as generate more revenue from email for your store. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.